Nos Weithal Palb. Last Saturday marked Armed Forces Day across the United Kingdom. And I'd like to give huge thanks to our brave service men and women for their continued hard work and sacrifice. Not only do they keep us safe and free from very real threats to our way of life, during this crisis, they have provided invaluable support for our NHS. They have provided invaluable logistical support in ensuring vital supplies are delivered to where they need to be. They led in the construction of the NHS Nightingale Hospitals and, as we witnessed recently here on Honest Morn, they have helped to increase testing capacity when and where it is most needed. As your Member of Parliament for Honest Morn, I would like to pay a particular tribute to the Royal Air Force personnel serving at Aria Valley, along with all those who work at the station in their support. I send my profound wishes to the military community, both serving and veterans who live on Honest Morn. As I'm sure you will all agree, it is impossible not to feel an enormous sense of pride in being able to call Honest Morn our island of unrivaled natural beauty home. I'm sure that you will also agree that although our island is an integral part of Wales and of the UK, a heartland of the Welsh language and of Welsh culture, Honest Morn is also unique. Our island faces unique challenges. Honest Morn has vast economic potential and yet, tragically, over the last two decades, people and communities across the island have been forced to endure an economic decline that should never have been allowed to happen. Two decades after devolution, with all the promises that came with the establishment of the Welsh Assembly, we must ask why is Honest Morn the most dependent local authority in the UK on tourism and one of the most economically deprived? It is essential that we ask ourselves why so many of our young people have been forced to move away in order to pursue their careers. This is a scenario that's been hugely damaging to both the vitality and long-term viability of the precious Welsh language and culture locally. Honest Morn should be a global leader in re re renewable energy production, and with the UK government's ambitious drive to end our contribution to global warming, we must seize the opportunity to develop a truly world-leading renewable energy sector. The delivery of Wilver Newith could help to create thousands of jobs and could ensure that Honest Morn makes a hugely disproportionate contribution to the decarbonisation of our economy. The port of Holyhead, already one of the busiest ports in the UK, and the gateway to Ireland could become home to new and expanding businesses with the granting of free port status. Our farmers, who produce the finest agricultural produce in the world to the highest of standards, should be exporting to markets around the globe. Since 2010, it has been UK government policy to reduce the number of MPs and to make the size of constituencies roughly equal in terms of the size of the electorate. Although this is a noble course of action, it would have meant that the constituency of Arnis Morn would need to be fused with part of the Arvon constituency. Given the scale of the challenges facing our island and the uniqueness of these challenges, many people from across the island rightly believe that we need an MP who can concentrate solely on delivering for the people of Arnis Morn. They believe that, like other islands around the UK, such as the Isle of Wight, we should be accorded protected status as a constituency. I agree strongly with this point of view. Protected status will pave the way to preserve the unique nature of our island in the forthcoming boundary changes and will enable your MP to focus on overcoming the challenges and seizing the opportunities that we face. It is something that I have championed with ministers on behalf of many of you, and I'm delighted that yesterday an amendment to the Parliamentary Constituencies Bill giving Honest Morn protected status as a constituency was unanimously accepted by MPs. Under the amended bill, Honest Morn will enjoy the same status already offered to Orkney and Shetland and the Western Isles and the Isle of Wight. In proposing the amendment, Conservative MP for Basingstoke, the Right Honourable Maria Miller, noted that the people of Arnis Morn retain a strong sense of independence, born of centuries of separation from the mainland. And she referred to Arnis Morn's historic position as Morn Mam Cymru. She added, Arnis Morn possesses the same exceptional qualities of geography seen in the existing protected island constituencies, and that the amendment recognised Arnis Morn's distinctive geography, 
distinctive history and distinctive culture. I'm delighted that this Conservative amendment has been accepted and that Honest Morn is now one step closer to becoming a protected constituency. I know just how important this is to the people of Honest Morn and I have actively supported the amendment on their behalf.